Welcome. In this session in Linear Data Analysis, we'll explore what we mean by a design matrix. Here our problem is the one that we've been going through for this lecture, and that is we're given some data that are in a matrix, and this matrix has all real numbers, and it has m observations, or rows, and it has n columns, or variables. And suppose that we also have some dependent readings, and there are, there's one for each observation, and we gather those into a vector c. What we want to do is we want to relate the data in the independent data matrix to the dependent data by means of a weight vector. And what we, were, what we need to do is try to get at that. Well, one problem that we see immediately is that the data are not standardized, and this can cause problems for finding this weight vector. We'll explore some of these problems throughout this course because this is a very this is fundamental to our linear data analysis. So the way that we usually do this is what we do is we form a, a design matrix and each column so let's say column number j is the standardized version of vector j that's in our design matrix or in our data matrix so what we do is this transforms so we score we score a and it's a convention in a lot of statistics and data analytics and what we do is we form these as a vec as a matrix x and then we also if we're scoring one side of this relation we have to score the other side of the relation so what we'll do is we'll score our vector c of dependent readings and we'll score those and let's call that a vector y when we've scored this side and we've scored this side, we've taken away the mean and we made these both into unit variants, um, uh, matrices and vectors. That means that the, that the weights won't be the same. So what we do is we try to relate. Now, we'll relate our design matrix X as approximately our scored vector y and we have to change variables so what we'll do in this course is we'll refer to this standardized one as u and if you go through the notes that accompany this session and this lecture you'll understand that we can transform between w and u when we know both of these transformations we have to have the transformation that takes us from the matrix a to the matrix X and we have to have the transformation that takes us from the vector C to the vector Y and when we have those we can relate the solution of this design problem which is a standardized problem to the original problem which is presumably what the user wants us to solve.